I'm hungry. I want some Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. story another time I know what it's like to be hit by a car and I don't think I've ever told YouTube this but uh, back here I mean the people just drive like it is nobody's business they don't care that they could kill somebody to let you guys know that I ended up getting on the wrong train which was the red line rather than the traditional gold line that takes me back to um, the Dorville Marta station where I catch my regular bus however uh, that is okay because I need a little bit of change of pace and I wanted to figure out how to make these blogs a little more interesting and I thought this was something I could kind of throw in my blogs because they were kind of blah before uh, and I wanted to talk to you about it, this anyway. So, uh, when you have autism or you have uh, any sort of diagnosis and you don't seem to fit the mold, other people will notice that there is something off about you even though you appear to be normal and that flips them out. And one example of that was on Sunday night when I went grocery shopping uh, I was in the checkout lane and I happened to be in front of a uh, of an older lady not like super old but she was older and she happened to drop her change into the conveyor belt and she was ditzy and she was just going oh I guess I, I guess I'm gonna ruin this and I jokingly looked at her and I said whoops and she got mad and scolded at me. So I just turned around and I ignored her and I proceeded to pay for my uh, items and write a check. And if that wasn't enough, the lady at uh, the cashier or behind uh, the checkout seemed a little out of it herself because uh, when it was my turn to pay, I had to ask her for a pen three times. and. The first two times I was calm, and by the third time, I had to firmly ask. I said, may I have a pen, please? And the lady behind me decided to be a little smart mouth, and she goes, uh, did you take your meds today? So uh, I just responded to her with a compliment or with a comeback that I learned from uh, a, another woman with Asperger's syndrome by the name of Jennifer O'Toole in her series Speaking Geek about learning how to uh, respond to uh, situations where people call you weird or crazy or notice that there's something a little bit off. So what I said to her was purple tuna fish and as soon as I said that that was the end of the line for her. She just left me alone after that. But she did make me feel very uncomfortable. 
It doesn't happen all the time, but I've had a, a number of people uh, make comments to, uh, to me like that. Well, um, are you taking medication? Uh, are you okay? What's bothering you? It's just they don't even notice that I'm a real person. You can't even get mad. You can't even be yourself because these people are so uh, ridiculously ignorant that it is not even funny. Valentine's Day 2018 and uh, I want to let you know that I'm a little sad even though uh, my singlehood doesn't really bother me as much as I used to. It's just sometimes hard to see you know, other people and relationships and see people um, give each other flowers, chocolates, cards and tell you I love you and smooch uh, each other on the lips or peck each other on the lips. And the reason why it bothers me sometimes is because I've never really had a chance to be in a relationship with someone. Yes, have I had crushes on people? Of course. I had a huge crush on a guy who uh, went to Georgia Tech and I believe I've talked about him an umpteen number of times. But basically he was uh, just not interested in me and nor was he right for me because uh, I wasn't, um, brainy enough and I wasn't ultra geeky enough uh, but um, and there have been times where um, it hurt because uh, while he turned me down um, my ex-friend who I told you about in my last vlog uh, met her husband and she was going on dates and doing all these really really cool things and uh, I mean it was her priority to get married and all that and here I am uh, struggling to find myself a significant other so it hurt but I'm not letting it get to me because I have so many other cool things that are going on in my life, even though you could probably hear the sadness in my voice. Um, number one, uh, I have my career at Georgia State University and then I'm doing my vlogs and then I'm working on the airport um, autism rehearsal tours. I've, I've connected with Dr. Temple Grandin and she's single and she doesn't care. Um, why does it bother me? Because I have two sisters that are in relationships right now I mean one of them is married and she got married um, and that's actually kind of a sad story I mean I'll save that for another time but I don't really want to badmouth her and the other one is my baby sister and she's just she's had an easy time getting relationships I think this is like what her third or fourth boyfriend now and here I am I've had nobody I'm sorry it hurts And then the other reason why I'm sad is because um, everybody just keeps getting busier and busier and I tried to um, host a, uh, a, a fun platonic uh, themed Valentine's Day party uh, on the 11th which was uh, on Sunday night. However, um, all of my friends were really busy and one of them is out of town and another one uh, a couple of them were getting involved in a play and others told me because they don't drive either that it's hard for them to get to Tucker which is in my part of the woods so um, those are things I'm kind of sad about however I do get a chance to uh, celebrate Valentine's Day with my kitty and <laughs> I'm thinking about uh, singing the song uh, this is your song by one of my favorite uh, music composers Elton John so I usually don't cry on camera and I don't cry in front of the blogs as you know I'm a strong woman but this is a touchy topic to talk about
thank you so much. Wow, I am feeling so much better than I was back there at the Lindbergh Marta station. Uh, however, there was a uh, guy that was panhandling on our train and he was uh, trying to sell cigarettes and he was, uh, instead of saying ladies and gentlemen, he was calling people out by their, their skin color, like, uh, excuse me, black people, white people, Spanish people, buy a cigarette for 15 cents. I mean, can you not get more entertaining than that? That's like a uh, real life, live action, Nick Wilde, the, something that came out of the movie Zootopia. Like she's nice to everybody else, but she's as mean as sin to me, and I don't know why. in the morning and I am headed directly to the bus and I can't really stay and talk because I'll miss it but uh, I get up at 4:30 uh, every morning Monday through Friday whether it's going to work or going to go study to clip out of this uh, biology or whether or not I have um, a class on campus for a certain semester so <laughs> Bring me a dream. Bring me a dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. I tell you, there's more uh, footage in this blog on me transitioning on the bus and trying to get to and from work and trying to get to and from school. Um, I really wish that there was more to it than that, but um, there'll be other vlogs with exciting things, so uh, bear with me. But this is February 14th, 2018, meaning that it's Valentine's Day, and yes, I'm feeling better. But honestly, I think I uh, set myself off because uh, when I got home, I uh, cried pretty hard. Not hard, but I uh, cried me a river last night because I was uh, so sad and it bothered me. But I wanted to let you know that I'm fine today and uh, I wanted to let you know that right here in Atlanta, on a different note, uh, there are various vendors that sell all kinds of uh, flowers and all kinds of stuffed animals and all kinds of goodies. And luckily that stuff isn't here right now because I think it's really tacky. Even though I love, um, I love the chocolate and the candies for Valentine's Day, but I don't like... Uh, stuffed animals for Valentine's Day that much. I just think they're another way to uh, get people to spend money. Um, and I don't think they're that cute. So, on a side note, I'm just about to catch the bus here, but uh, if you click up here in the upper right-hand corner, you can check out this famous vlogger. Here's PewDiePie! Bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. Make him the cutest that I Cross promotion. Well, number one, I'm trying to grow the number of 
uh, viewers and subscribers on my blogs and educate people about autism. And two, I wanted to find out what all the hoopla was about. So yesterday I decided to watch a um, vlog of PewDiePie's and I discovered that, that he is very funny and he has the type of humor that I normally would have. And seeing that he had the same ADHD that I have, and yes, I'm incredibly hyper, and I've always been hyper, and he also tends to go over the top with his uh, mean humor, and um, that's exactly uh, the type of humor that I go for. And uh, in case you're wondering where I got the uh, Burger King foot lettuce from, I got that from PewDiePie yesterday, and I was uh, going over the top about that because I thought that was the funniest thing ever. Now, uh, this is Valentine's Day of 2018, and uh, I will tell you, I think PewDiePie is a nice looking guy, and I think he has the prettiest blue eyes that I've ever seen, in addition to his humor. And then I found out he was from Sweden, and guys from uh, that area are charming anyway, especially with their accents, so it was nice to hear that. The only thing I noticed is when I uh, turned on uh, the blog, he didn't say his traditional catchphrase, which was the PewDiePie, which is uh, what I've heard him do in the past. Um, I always thought that he blogged about video games, but it seems that he likes to blog about memes and he likes to blog about different things on the internet. But uh, what I've noticed about him is that he's got the type of humor that just gradually grows on you. Like he's not funny at first, but the more you watch him, the funnier he actually gets. So, anyway, I'm out of time. If you like what I'm doing, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, also be sure to um, uh, comment below and share this with your networks. And check me out on social media, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off. This train is bound for airport station.